How's it going, everybody? Hey, what's up, guys? It's Mike with Alpha Reptiles back again with another live stream today. And today, we have an exciting one. I see there are already some people in the chat, so welcome to those of you who are already here. Today, we are going to be talking about dart frogs, vivariums, and kind of just answering some general questions. Um, I will be feeding, and misting, and just kind of, I guess, going through my routine with these guys, as well as giving you guys some general information about them and their care. So, with that being said, for those of you that are here right now, I want to welcome you all to the stream. What's up, Justin? What's up, uh, Jake? How's it going? Uh, I hope there are more mods that come in here pretty soon. But, um, for those of you that are here, uh, I know on iOS now, you can actually do the Super Chat feature, so if you have any burning questions, anything that you really want to ask, or just want to help support the channel, please feel free to leave a Super Chat. I uh, answer pretty much everything, uh, and obviously, if you're Super Chatting, then, you know, uh, we're out here, right? <laughs> so, feel free to do that. If not, why don't we get on to the stream. First off, we're going to talk about some of the general care for these guys. Now, this is going to be extremely basic care for dart frogs. Obviously, if you guys are watching the replay, first, hello, how's it going? Thank you. Uh, and uh, for those of you that are live right now, just know that if you're going to get dart frogs, uh, don't just follow this advice. Like, make sure you actually do some real research. Um, watching a half an hour stream or so is not uh, generally considered as enough information to uh, kind of make your decision off of. So, with that being said, why don't we get on to some care and uh, and getting this show on the road. Uh, hello everybody. Uh, I'll answer that question later. But how's it going? We got AZA, Gavin, Victoria, Woody's, Woodsy. Yeah. So let's get started. Um, I guess I'll give you a little bit of general history with me and my dart frogs. How dart frogs started for me was about two and a half years ago. I got, uh, actually I don't have my first dart frogs anymore unfortunately, but uh, they were actually ran a species, which generally is not recommended as a great first, uh, I guess, dart frog, simply because they are a little bit more sensitive and can be a little bit more finicky. So right now I'm currently keeping a group of five Ufaga Pumilio Almerente, which you guys can hear calling, I imagine. I'm also keeping a group of, or a trio of three um, turquoise and bronze erratus. You can see right there. And then this is actually an empty vivarium. And then these guys I'm going to be moving maybe even today, like after the stream. I'm going to be separating these guys out, a couple in here, a couple in there, but these are Azurius, uh, Tinctorius Azurius. So, that's those guys. Now we can jump into some general care for the dart frogs. As you can see, it is extremely humid in all of them. Uh, you want to start off with at least 80% humidity pretty much 100% of the time. And I'm going to try and open this door so you guys can actually see in without him moving. Oh yeah, he dipped. Nope. But you guys can just see. Uh, obviously you can't see the humidity, but now you can because there's a bunch of condensation on the glass. But like I said, at least 80% humidity pretty much 100% of the time. And uh, you're going to be misting. It depends really on your schedule and how much you want to mist or how much you need to mist. Like for me, I have a full glass top on this tank, so I only miss like once or twice a day. Uh, well, really once a day, and that keeps my vivs well up in the 80s, 90% humidity. Another good note to start off with is that you really just want to use live plants. These are all live plants in here. Living moss, there's some Margravia right up at the front here, right there. There is some, uh, what's that called? Manta ray vine, which really isn't doing that great anymore. But uh, yeah, there's a ton of different plants in here. As you guys can see, I love the way this looked. Uh, I will, for those of you that have been following the channel for a little while, I will be making an update on this tank. I made this tank maybe a year and a half ago, or about a year ago. I think I made it in May. And uh, 
yeah, this this tank has grown in insane. Like, I'll show some comparison photos and and video and stuff, and it's nuts. Um, but yeah, just do it with live vivarium. Honestly, for me, part of the hobby really revolves around doing it in a live vivarium. It, it, you just have to. Like to me, it doesn't make sense. I got some in my eye. It doesn't make sense to make a dart frog tank and it to be fake plants and stuff like that. Um, also, this will be uh, going for a very long time and it also helps with humidity. So it's just something to think about when you're setting it up. Like, if you want dart frogs and you really don't want to do any live plants, you might want to reconsider. Um, I guess another rule for pretty much all dart frogs, regardless the size, is you want to have about 5 to 10 gallons per frog. Now that can obviously vary, but that's about where you're going to want to keep it, is about 5 to 10 gallons per frog. As you can see there, this is one of my Ufaga Pumilio Almirante, with the boy behind her. <laughs> um... Can see she looks like a Hershey's chocolate chip or a Hershey's kiss because she's so huge um, another thing like these are just keep in mind super general tips um, you you want to have really only one species per tank that is true for all of mine I do know places like jungle jewel and stuff cohabitate but especially as beginners just keep one species of frog per tank uh, you really don't want to start mixing until you have a good grasp on different, uh, I guess, men or not person, well, yeah, personalities of frogs and general and general characteristics of the frog species that you're keeping. Um, obviously, uh, you want to make sure that they can cohabitate well together. Like maybe you get a Tinctoria species as well as a um, like a Ranitomea, which are more arboreal. That can work because of the differentiated um, like niches in the aquarium. So, yeah. That's kind of, uh, I guess we can talk about diet, and then we can move on to some general uh, questions about dart frogs that you guys have, as well as vivarium tips. But uh, diet for these guys is a whole host of different things. And speaking of diet, I will actually feed them while I talk about it. I will also answer Sorry, my tripod's a little loud. I'll also answer any questions that you guys have uh, about general frog care right now. If you want to leave it in the chat, I uh, will hopefully get it. But basically, what dart frogs eat are a host of different things. Um, they will eat the inhabitants of your cleanup crew. So they will eat the isopods, the springtails, that kind of deal. Um, they will also, most people primarily feed their dart frogs fruit flies, which I culture myself. You can also buy them online, but uh, I do have a couple of culturing videos if you guys are interested in that. Maybe Jake or Justin can leave a link in the chat if you guys are so inclined. That would be great. There's a lot of, a lot of fruit flies, but you guys can see in there just the magnitude of fruit flies that we have. And that's for feeding, I guess, eight frogs, somewhere around there. Um, how often do you give them vitamins? That's a good question, uh, Justin. Basically, do I have my, yeah, I do. So I have both of the vitamins that I use primarily here. I use DendroCare. Uh, well, I feed them, I guess I should talk about schedule. I feed them three times a week. I feed them every other day. I feed them uh, fruit flies. They also have uh, springtails and isopods in their enclosure. So if they choose to eat that, then they can eat that. But I use the Dendro Care. This stuff is, it's not the greatest. Like it's a great supplement, but as you'll see here, when I shake it up, um, there's a lot that doesn't stick to the flies. So, I mean, it's definitely nutritionally rich and I strongly recommend it. But there is also other products that stick a little bit better to the flies if that's something that you're super concerned about. Um, 
that is something that I would recommend. Uh, the other thing, and I dose the Dendro Care twice a week, so two of the three feedings I use that, and then the other feeding I use the uh, Rapashi Vitamin A. I know some people, let me restart that. I know some people uh, use this only about once a month. Uh, for me, however, uh, I use it once a week, basically. Uh, whether that's a little too much or not, uh, I haven't noticed any issues or anything like that going on with the frogs themselves. So, uh, yeah, I can't, I can't, uh... <laughs> this ain't Twitch for directions, but I've been live for 10 minutes. Um, yeah, so I just, I mean, you're going to see here, I feed them about 20 to 30 flies per adult. And, uh, you might be able to hear tongues flapping in a minute here. But I'll go ahead right now and answer a couple questions. What's up, Mike? Yo, what's up? Dendro's on. Well, I know. <laughs> what are the largest hide eye anyway? Um, no, hide eye and black, or gold hide eye and black hide eye are both very similar size, honestly. These are just like an old culture, so they're a little bit smaller than what is normally found. But. 8x8 eight eight bumblebee millipede. Couple of years old and did an accident, which. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, what could a beginner put in a 12x12x18? 12 by 12 by um, honestly, it depends on your experience level. Like, for me, I've had day echoes and I've had animals that require larger or um, increased humidity. So for me, I just hopped right into uh, Ranatomea. But if you're going to do Ranatomea, it's not that I don't recommend them. It's just make sure you do your research before you buy any. Um, because they can be a little bit more challenging to, um, to raise, I guess. They're also less bold. So I think I saw my Ranatomeas, like once a week maybe and it's just like oh look he's there and then he's gone so it really depends what you're looking for in a frog um for me i personally didn't like that they hid so much so uh that's kind of the kind of the issue i guess uh, if you guys have any burning questions and want to help support the stream remember those of you who are live can do super chat uh every little bit helps i can help raise the fam, you know? Uh, actually, I need to miss those guys first. Uh. How's everybody that's live? How's your day going? That was a terrible angle, but you know, it's fine. It's fine. Totally fine. What do I do with baby dart frogs? Yeah, I sell them. Um, like, I have, t well, three of the uh, Azurias for sale as well. Um, three of the Azurias that you're about to watch eat, I have for sale. Um, just because, I, yeah, like, I don't sell them for any profit. or Well, I mean, I guess it's profit, but I don't sell them because I need to make a bunch of money off them. I sell them for, like, 100 bucks for the three or 120 bucks for the three. Just because I want them to go to a good home. How much are the Azurias? Uh, they'd be like, uh, yeah, like I said, about 120 bucks for the three. So it's kind of like pay for two, get the third one free, basically. Can other frog or can other animals coexist with them? Yeah, for sure. Um, morning geckos are a really common one that people co keep with them. You could even do day geckos. Um, it, yeah, like that's that's where it's at. You can do a bunch of different stuff with these guys. Can you guys see him up top? I can see him really well, but the camera's not picking him up very well. Boom. 
Just set up your extra tier of vibs for your two cresting. I think I'm in love with the hobby. Yeah, it's really awesome having live pants with all your animals, honestly. I'm a strong proponent of uh, live, live tanks, I guess you could say. Could you... Can you keep different types of dart frogs together? Uh, I answered that earlier, but the general recommendation is no. How can I buy frogs from you? If you're in Canada, you can buy them by emailing me. My email is linked in the description right now. You guys can check it out. Uh, yeah. If you're outside of Canada, you can't really buy from me, unfortunately. Stop focusing on the plants and focus on the damn frog, dog. Do you have any day geckos currently? Yeah, I have four right now. You're from Canada? Sweet. How much info on Cipollowini? Uh, they're basically the same as, <laughs> as Azurius, honestly. I mean, all tanks are very similar. Um, shipping, it depends where you are, but it's going to cost about a hundred bucks just for shipping. Um, because it has to be overnight and all the other stuff to go along with that. Uh, so now that we've fed those guys, we can feed the, um, the slightly smaller fruit flies, which are the, um, Melanogaster. Uh, I don't know how many I have. Hmm, not enough. Geckos. Yeah, I will. Don't worry. Right now, we're just trying to focus on like the vivarium dart frog aspect of it, and then the last maybe 10 minutes or so, we can go to kind of Q&A, show and tell type deal. Which plants are safe for dart frogs? Most plants are, um, just because they're not eating them, so uh, there's not a ton of like dangerous uh, plants for your dart frogs, which is nice. How's the lead setup doing? It's doing really well. Um, really, all I'm working on, or all I need to have done, is moving. I'm basically getting rid of this rack right here. Um, I'm going to put uh, Bowser's cage on wheels, and then I'm going to stack. Uh, I have another monitor cage built. I'm going to stack that there and make that for um, Sky. And then I will. Uh, I will let this tank dry out. I'll seal this tank that Sky's in currently. And, um, and then I have a uh, potentially a new addition coming in. Show some of my mealworms. I actually don't have mealworms. I have some super worms, but I don't really have mealworms. New addition. <laughs> yeah, there's a couple new additions. You guys you guys don't even know. You guys don't even know. Don't even know. You guys are out of the loop. That's fine, though. It's better that way. Uh, no, I can tell you it's not a female for Dixon. I wish it was, but it's not. I really wish it was. Put us in the loop. I can't put you in the loop yet. I don't want to make promises that I can't keep. Because uh, I can tell you it's extremely expensive. <laughs> Hence the super chat type uh, pitch, you know? Um, other than that, I kind of think that wraps it up, really, for dark frog care. It's not... It's really not that challenging once you get it done. Um, expensive equal cooler. <laughs> um, yes, that is true. Um, yeah, it's really not hard to keep dart frogs if you're looking for something. Um, part of the hobby for me for keeping dart frogs is the plants. Like, I really like plants. I really like finding new rare plants and stuff like that. Chances are my finger's about to get bitten by the monster shell. Um, 
And for me, that's what it's really all about. Like, I, the, dart, the dart frogs are kind of a nice side thing, I guess. I hope they breed. I They should breed, that kind of deal. Um, but overall, like, it's really... It's really not that difficult to me, at least. I know some people um, tend to have like a black thumb if you want to talk about that, but uh, like really, I mean, yeah, that's that's what it comes down to. So uh, as long as you set it up properly, you do some research, dart frogs are an extremely rewarding hobby and I strongly recommend you guys uh, pick up some. So if you guys were here for just the dart frogs and I didn't really talk that much about vivariums, but there's really not that much to say. I have so many um, vivarium builds and that kind of stuff that uh, it's it's something of, uh, for me, you know, it's just it's the thing, you know? Hey, Mackenzie's here. What's up, Mackenzie? Long time no see. Um, yeah, so now if you were here for just that, I mean, please stick around for... Uh, I'll be going into whatever questions you guys have. I can show you um, the different animals around the room if you like. Um, yeah, whatever you guys kind of want, I guess. But how's the plant grow tank? Um, not bad. Uh, honestly, I've been kind of neglecting it just because it's been... I've been super insanely busy, and now that uh, finals are less than a week away, my first final is Thursday, so I basically took like a half an hour, this stream will probably be like half an hour, 35 minutes, maybe 40 minutes at most, um, I'm going to take that time off, I'm going to have a shower, and then I'm going right back to studying, so, um, and my carpet chameleons this Wednesday coming up. Here's to Kai. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Yeah. I miss having chameleons, honestly. And this move, like this, um, this getting rid of this shelf opens up a lot of space because, I mean, the shelf is big. It's like seven feet long or it's, it's just under that. It's like a really weird dimension, but, um, yeah, so it's going to open up some space for me. I have a couple tanks out there in the basement there that I am looking to um, fill. But, uh, yeah, it's... Over the course of summertime, I will be getting uh, several, several, several new additions. Like, uh, yeah. I'm just going to leave that one hanging. <laughs> uh, you've been a subscriber since I had a thousand... A thousand K? A thousand thousand subscribers? I get, I get what you mean. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. What's the best beginner dart frog? Um, it's kind of cliche to say, but like Azarius, Aratus, and, uh, no, Tinctorius, Aratus, and Lucamellus. Uh, they're not darts, no. I, I don't, I, I might get one other species of dart frog, but I think... I'm kind of happy where I am right now with darts. I I really want to start focusing on monitor lizards and some uh, other unique reptiles that you don't see too commonly. So, uh, is Bane out? I doubt it. No, he's not out right now. Um, I guess I can. Oh boy, I need to. I need to put away these fruit flies before I knock them over. Am I in college? Yes. Well, I'm in university. I'm I'm Canadian, so <laughs> colleges are not not really as big here. Um, but yes, I I'm in post secondary school. Uh, ASL. Please get a Komodo dragon, right? <laughs> Recently, you met Kimberly Rock Motors. They're really cool. They're super cool. Uh, do I like long-tailed grass lizards? Um, actually, yeah. Like, they're pretty inquisitive little little creatures. So, I I think out of the kind of beginner range of like more tropical reptiles, they're pretty solid. Uh, sorry, this is an awful angle. Eh, there we go. Um, I think they're a pretty solid starter. What's up, buddy? Nope. 
If I get a blue tree monitor, oh, believe me, <laughs> I would love a blue tree monitor. And I hope to have one at some point, but no, it's it's not that, unfortunately. I wish it was, believe me. Why hasn't it... what? Cause she's trash. <laughs> Mackenzie throwing shade. Uh, I guess if Justin's still here, I can show you the the tank. I do need to mist it, so it's doing well. Like I can't can't really complain, honestly. Stop collaborate. You're the first channel I researched Chameleon on and ever been, ever since he's been flat, thriving. Thanks, man. I'm hoping I'll have a Chameleon again at some point. At least something. What kinds of lights do I have for my plants? Uh, as awkward as it is to say, I actually have Biopod lights. <laughs> um, basically, I got some of their lights. Um... When I work for them, and they're just like the lights themselves, they're not the actual units or anything. Um, and I rigged them up to light up my Viv. Get a Parsons? Oh god. I would do so much for a Parsons, but... Uh, I opened it too much, there we go. You love Tiki's geckos? Yeah, I don't really watch them. But I know they're, ooh, I know they're good guys, or I think they're good guys. I haven't heard anything bad about them. Did I get a velvet gecko? No, probably not. What monitors do I like the best? I really like the uh, tree monitors. Like the Indo, the Indonesian complex are some of my favorite. What about spiders? I love spiders and I love tarantulas, but unfortunately, neither my girlfriend or parents like them at all. So, I'm kind of limited on my, ouch, on my supply. Damn, that hurt. I just smashed my head into uh, this dude. Dog, why you gotta be like that? What's up, little man? kind of dirt do I plant my plants in? Uh, whatever I have. I don't really have a specific brand. And brings you mice. That's cool. <laughs> That's awesome. I love cats. They're like super personable like that. <laughs> yes. Sheldon's the OG, that's for sure. Well, not really, but he's a G. How much a lamb's I have no idea. A couple hundred bucks, probably. Do a quick tour of the room. Okay, I guess I could end it with that. Super quick tour. Um, so I'm not going to let you guys know on here, I might show, um, I might make a separate video of it, but Tig is, uh, in here, 
she is doing okay, but she might have to go to the vet here pretty quick. Uh, I don't actually see her right now, so. Unfortunately, I can't show you Tig, but her tank is doing good. Um, I will be doing an update about her, maybe this Wednesday, honestly. I might film it here and edit it, but um, I need to talk to the vet first. So, um, yeah. I don't want to get into it too much right now. Um, but you guys have seen all the dart frogs. Um, Dad, I'm doing a live stream, so don't turn on music, please. How long are you going for yet? Maybe another, like, ten minutes or so? Five minutes? Um... Bane, oh yeah, you hear those knees cracking? Bane is doing really, really well. Um, I still need to make his glass top just so it keeps in the humidity a little bit better. Show us your dad. <laughs> um, <laughs> dad? I'll try and get him in here at the very end. But Bane is doing really well. His tank's doing fine. As you can see, the live plants are still alive, which is dope. Um, he's probably somewhere back there. I don't want to bug him too much. Um, but I'll, I'll see if I can get him in here. Uh, Dad? Are you able to come on? The people are asking to see you and ask you a couple questions. Okay. Uh, yeah, he said okay. Uh, well, that's fine. I don't care. You're going to be on the internet. It's up to you. <laughs> um, so Striker's doing really well. I cannot wait to get him out of this tank. Uh, hopefully, I'm, depending on how much studying I get done tonight, uh, I'm going to go to Home Depot. I'm going to get the wheels, and I might even do this tonight if my dad's down to help me. But I might take this out and get this rack out of here. Um, he's doing great, though. Uh, I mean, this guy's doing really good. Uh, it's feeding day for him, so he'll get fed. Dixon is right under there, as you guys can see. Again, he's doing great. And Bowser is just chillaxing. Okay. You guys, the, to wrap up the stream, the father has joined us. <laughs> uh, do you guys have any questions for him? Yes, this is all natural. <laughs> is he single? No. I have a mother. <laughs> yes. Yeah, he was in Phoenix, so he's a little bit more tan than I am. <laughs> Although this light doesn't really lend to that, but what kind of protein powder does he use? <laughs> None. <laughs> Seriously, no protein powder, nothing. Just hard work. No drugs ever in this body. I'm off for an early night. Uh, did he ever buy me a reptile? I think you bought Wrangle for me, technically, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. So, my dad's actually a chameleon guy. He loves chameleons. So... Um, Rango is the best. Yeah. Although Sheldon's awesome. Yeah, he also loves Sheldon. I love Sheldon. He loves feeding Sheldon particularly. <laughs> and getting him water. And scratching his shell. You're an amazing dad. <laughs> we should do a meetup then. <laughs> uh, Pops has been waiting. Pops has been hitting weights. Looking strong, alpha dad. <laughs> do you like horses? I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I used to ride horses way back in Saskatchewan. Really? Yeah. I didn't even know that. Uncle Lawrence had a lot of horses. Oh, okay. Horseback riding was always, a, you know, the horses were a little wild, but we did ride them. They are great. They'd go check the cattle with them. Do you guys have any, uh, I mean, I'd ask you what your favorite chameleon species is, but he doesn't really know that many. I, yeah, I mean. Panthers is like your favorite. I like, I like the veiled Veiled, I like the skin on the veil. Translucent. Yeah. Yeah, like Rango's look like human arms and legs. So that's. But I like panther chameleons. I just, I hope Michael, that's going to be his next purchase, is going to be another chameleon because I miss Maybe. having chameleons. It was uh, really cool when Michael bred them and then we had all the little ones. Yeah. That was really. If neat. you guys haven't seen that on the channel, that's like several years ago, yeah. but you can go check it out. How many babies did you have? 25? Yeah. Yeah. 24, I think, was the actual number. Uh, favorite, fa uh, well, favorite, f favorite flavor of crisps, so chips. <laughs> uh. 
He likes all the weird ones. Probably, no, the pepper, those ones that we buy at that Costco, the big bags. The cracked black pepper? Cracked back black pepper, yeah. Uh, I like that your shirt says Ola, uh, Aloha, yep. <laughs> we love, we love. We love Maui. hot weather, Maui. we love water. Well, we love the desert too now that we have that place in Phoenix, yeah. but anywhere where it's hot and sunny. Do you guys have any questions? Uh, somebody asked what my favorite reptile that... That I have of yours is, but Sheldon, I imagine. Sheldon now, yeah. yeah. Sheldon's my favorite. I like when he bites Michael's toes. If you haven't seen that, that's cool. <laughs> he won't bite anybody else's toes, but he bites Michael's. Yeah, that's true. But when I call his name, he always comes running. Uh, no, Danny, he hasn't. What? Uh, he asked if you've seen Rick and Morty. I haven't even seen Rick and Morty. No. Uh, any reptile questions, you guys, or like other questions that you have? We'll go for a couple more minutes here, one or two more minutes. Although he's cool, Striker. Yeah. Striker is his first ever lizard. Lizard. What's his dream reptile? Probably chameleon. <laughs> that big My... Parsons chameleon, that huge yeah. one. <laughs> uh, what dart frogs would you put in? The... Uh, you could put in just like Tinctorious, really, in some that size. Uh... Although those the Jacksons chameleons. Yeah, there in you Hawaii, really like the Jacksons. I like those yeah. Jacksons in Hawaii. That's true. They were neat. Well, and the ones you had, it's just they don't survive here very well. Um, how annoying do you find the calls of the dart frogs? I. I don't think they're that annoying. You can't hear them outside of my room, really. Like, if my door's closed, you can hear kind of, like, what's, a little what's bit. What's annoying but... are the cricket sounds. Yeah. <laughs> they hate the cricket sounds. Especially when they escape in the house, and then they... Yeah. What's your favorite? Uh, my mom was a, was half afraid of reptiles, so I had to move out to get my first blue tongue. Yeah. That is something that I... Uh, I mean, mm. they facilitate this. Like, yeah, they allow we... this, so... We're I'm pretty not lucky. afraid of reptiles. We just don't really like the snakes that yeah. much. They don't like the snakes. We like to see them, but we don't think we'd want we'll want them in the house. Yeah. My oldest reptile is uh Well is he's striker. Your longest. Yeah, he's thirteen, I think. What do you want, you little uh, mom? No. How much does he dart for all questions? <sighs> Anymore? Yeah. I think that's it for the Papa section. Okay. I'm going <laughs> to go work Dad. out. See you guys. Okay. All right, you guys. I think that's actually going to wrap it up because he is going to start blasting music and I will 100% get hit with a copyright strike. So, um, yeah. When, when I go to Phoenix today uh, or when I go to Phoenix this summer, I will be... I can incorporate him in more videos and stuff. My mom doesn't really like to be on camera. My brother hates it, but uh, my dad's pretty cool about it. So, I want to thank you guys all for coming. No super chats today, but that's fine. I hope you guys enjoyed the stream. Um, I think it was a lot of fun, honestly. Uh, my mom is more reptile person than my dad, that's for sure. Um, but uh, uh, way off topic, what type of silicone? Uh, silicone one is what I use. Um, but yeah, I think that was a pretty successful stream. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's not terribly long. I know, um, yeah, Repti Repti Reptitan? Reptitan? Um, yeah, you guys, I don't know. I'm thinking of doing, I mean, I'm starting up my podcast pretty soon here. And, uh, and I think I might do more of like a lifestyle podcast as well. Like maybe even have two, uh, and, uh, just kind of get to know me a little bit more. But anyways, that's for another, another whole stream kind of deal. I will mention to the 52 of you guys that are here right now, um, and to anybody that made it 40 minutes into this VOD, Curtis, yes, if you want to shoot me a message on my email, I have it linked in the description. Um, but if you guys have made it this far, um, I am looking for some graphic designers. Maybe not necessarily graphic designers, but um, just people that are good with making print quality um, graphics and stuff like that. Uh, I can have a couple different uh, people submit stuff. I know Justin submitted a really good idea. I was talking to him on Facebook before this, but... Um, yeah, I, there's a couple things I, I would like to get done 
and I think it'd be really cool. So if you guys are here right now and you want to submit something, please let me know, or at least get in contact with me and send me some stuff that you've done before. I'd really like to see that. Um, but I might make that like contest video and then, uh, oh shit, I said it, damn it. <laughs> but, um, okay. <laughs> uh, that's, that's kind of, uh, damn it. I didn't want to say that. Anyways, I might upload that contest video like Wednesday or something. If I can kind of work it out with maybe somebody that I can work it out with. I don't know. I need to talk to them, but, uh, I think this was a very successful stream. So I want to uh, let you guys know um, that I really appreciate you guys. Um, this August, I'm pretty sure, is actually my 10-year anniversary on YouTube. Uh, 50,000 subscribers. I hope I hit 50K by then. Uh, what? Can you turn the music on? Not yet. I'm almost done. Uh, I really hope I hit 50K by then. It would be super, super cool. Um, so with that said, feel free to share, feel free to like, feel free to subscribe. Uh, I upload, um, as of right now, at least once a week. And hopefully the summertime after May, it'll be uh, much more frequently, like uh, two to three times uh, a week. So I want to have a set schedule, ideally. And uh, yeah, there's, there's a lot of stuff coming this summer. So there should be some extremely cool videos, as well as uh, a podcast. So... If you guys are interested in that kind of thing, definitely click subscribe and you'll be notified whenever I go live Sundays at typically 1 or 2 Mountain Time or I, I guess that would be noon or 1 uh, Pacific Time. But I hope you guys have a good one. Thanks for watching the stream. I really appreciate you coming out. And for those of you that are watching the VOD, uh, leave what your favorite frog or reptile in general is in the uh, comments down below and we'll talk to you later so have a good one you guys i enjoyed it and i always love hanging out with you guys so mm, you'll have to do it more often later guys